It's part four of a never-ending series of the Jay Soccer vlog. I almost felt like breaking into song, but I won't because YouTube yeah, will YouTube take it will down. Just rip it off, and, and they'll, they'll insist on using some nondescript music composed by a nondescript musician. So the news today is that Omiya Adija are keeping their manager, and that is news because it's all news. over Twitter and uh, social media yesterday was the fact that they had fired their manager mm -hmm. and were sending the GM along with him, which maybe would have gone a little way to saving the team from relegation. That would be terrible if they got rid of the GM food in, in the canteen. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad they didn't do that. Because, you know, that's what that's what makes them grow so big nowadays. They have got four draws out of the last five. Oh, okay. Otherwise, so, they would be well... So, uh, I see their points total is genetically modified. Genetically if, modified. If you like. GM. And if you don't like... Well, it depends. I don't know. We've gone off at a tangent, and that's so the, the completely news, my fault. The news today the news is, is that Omiya Adija will be keeping their manager, which, from what I've seen on Twitter over the last hour yeah. or so, it's a huge mistake. Yes. Um, on the other hand, the talk of, uh, for example, Afshin Gotbi getting a job there, he would be best served staying well away from Omiya Adija. And maybe and that's why... And they're second why, from bottom, aren't they? Look that's at. why... They're keeping the GM and the manager today because they made a few inquiries and everybody said no thanks. I, no. I'll tell you what though, you look at their goal difference and this is what this is my little way of working out who's going to go down, who's not. It's only minus nine, it's not that bad. And you look at Vigalta Sendai, I know they're for quite a, a lot further up the table. Minus 12, that's pretty poor. And it's, I that, think they're, exactly. even though you look at their form, I'm, you know, there's a lot of draws in there. Sorry, yeah, three draws in Vigalta Sendai's recent record. I I don't know if Omiya are going to go down. I know I know you're convinced. You've convinced yourself they well, will. No, if they, if they get things. a new manager and it's not too late, and they've got some new decent players coming in, yeah, and they've got decent players. They just haven't got a decent team. Mm. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, mm. lad. They haven't got a decent team. I don't know why I suddenly started talking yeah, about I, that I don't know Newcastle either. via Glasgow there. But, but yeah. having said all that, look, it is still third worst. After after Vigalta and obviously Vortis it's are, are pretty pretty rough uh, schedule that they Vortis are a bit of a basket case. Let's face it. With minus well, 30. I think another point that they might be. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> is Enjoy that it. this coming weekend? Omiya mm. Adija are taking on Gamba Osaka, the Ooh. form team of the land. Oh. So uh, oh when dear. Gamba Osaka <laughs> score four or five goals, then yeah, yeah, then yeah. the yes. Omiya powers that be. Then I will change my mind okay. and say they're dead certs to get relegated. But at the moment, I'd say of well, just looking at goal difference, I'm, I've got Vigalta Sendai to go down. Sorry, I know it sounds a bit mad. Yeah, well, as I was I'm, just saying, saying in part three or whatever it was, that Sendai well, haven't really done the business after the change. Mm. You know, they managed four or five wins out of the next eight, but then suddenly they're, they're sinking a bit now. Yeah. Um, we'll move back to the top, or rather, who yeah. were at the top until Or should we then. just walk along the road from Omiya uh, to... From Omiya, Omiya, we just... It's just the literally, from, it's a stone's throw. From Komaba. It's, 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 it's a, a fighting kick. star's throw. It's a corner kick away from uh, Oh, is it a corner Omiya? kicker? Or is it, or is it <laughs> heading shooter? Heading shooter away. I think you're offside there, Joe. All right. Urawa offside Reds off. 2, not Urawa Red Diamonds, please. It's Urawa Reds no, 2. But why? I want to know this. Maybe I don't. Why does it still say diamonds on, on some of their logos that are appearing on Wikipedia and elsewhere? Yeah, well, because... Why can't they get rid of the diamonds? Can't they just get, get some tipex? Because diamonds are forever. Oh, I see. <laughs> you would think we scripted that, but no. It wasn't scripted, was it? <laughs> Not at all. Oh. Two draws and three wins since the restart. Um, they were top until Sagan Tosu uh, came through with Tossed a, another, it another lucky 1-0 win. But that's oh, no, the next sorry. Game. In the next game, they might toss away their, their one goal they, advantage, they but would. this time they hung on. But Urawa Reds uh, by their seconds were rather average. They've only they've only only scored twenty five goals. So they've had a lot of one nil wins or one goal wins, um, and they've had a, a lot of late goals. And this time was no exception. Mm. Ninety three or four minutes in, Nasu. How late can they leave? Eh? Yeah. Nasu. Woke out of his vegetative state. Yeah. Nasu, you see, is, is Japanese for uh, aubergine. Nasu. Oh, is it an aubergine? Oh, okay. good job. So like Nasu Hima. came out of his vegetative yeah. state. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Nasu came along and uh, headed home a uh, uh, Kashiwagi cross for uh, mm. the the win. No, sorry. The Well, it seemed like the win because Urawa Reds yeah. fans were absolutely going crazy because they got a point against Vissel Kobe. Yeah. But it wasn't enough to keep him top, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, they're actually uh, level yeah. top on... It's not even goal difference that separates them. It's goals scored by Sagan Goals scored, oh yeah. It's one more. 
The Tossins have got one more, yeah. Just so, uh, but Reds are unbeaten since the break, and um, mm. they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. You've got to as, fancy the Reds, as, even though as, you don't. As Gamba try and move above them. And they've got a decent, decent amount of fans. Yeah. They don't always get up to a decent amount of things, according yes. to media reports that reach us in the UK. But all I can say, having been to Uruwa, I felt very welcome there. Loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved being around the Uruwa well, The thing about Vissel Kobe, too, is that is they really are... They really want to get an ACL place this year. They really want to finish top three. They've, they've poured a lot of money into the team. Quite possibly, well, apart from Senesa, maybe, if you just take Diego Forlan by himself. They have a huge budget, Vissel Kobe. Mm. Marquinhos is on about one and a half million. I wow. think I said something at the start of the season on the J Talk podcast that they could have had 10 youth players for the price that they're using <laughs> and could be looking for the future, but they're going for the quick fix, the quick one. Mm. And if they don't come top three and get the ACL place, I think that they will consider that a failure this year, mm. which is a big thing for a team that are usually hanging around the veg vegetarian, <laughs> the, the relegation places. Well, when you look, they've got three points out of the last 15. It's hardly... It's only relegation for them. I don't see them going exactly. down, by the way. They but... were top of the, the table uh, mm. earlier in the season. Yeah. Um, and just before the break, they had a, a bit of a... A little slightly rough patch, and then after that, they've got three draws and two, well, whatever it was. They haven't won in five. And so what would you say has gone wrong? But being in Kobe, I've seen them play. Mm. And, for example, Sagan Tosu mm. uh, won. Vissel Kobe nil was uh, the result uh, two weeks mm. back. And Vissel, could have, he could have been 10 nil to Vissel. Mm. And instead, two players coming together, bang, the ball's dropping behind them. And uh, Min Wu mm. scoring a goal. I mean, really, Vissel Kobe could have beaten Sagan Tosu 5 or 6 nil, and instead mm. they lost 1 nil, which goes to show that Tosu have the, the good defence and the luck going for them, mm. and Vissel Kobe didn't quite have the luck going for them this time, but they've scored 30 goals. I mean, Marquinhos, Pedro Junior is on form. I think... Um, 26 of that in there. Exactly. 26. The defence is extremely average. It seems that way. And how... Disciplined are they? How organised are they? When when um, Gamba took them apart, that was pretty I tell you frightening. What, Gamba were pretty amazing in that they game. They were the, pretty the amazing, just, so I don't want to take take the credit away Gamba from Gamba. Were, uh, Gamba were probably the, the best I've seen them play in a long time against yeah. Kobe. And you were there just marvelling at the passes. Yeah, and it was incredible. There was incredible. like 25 passes and then suddenly it was a chum, 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 and a goal. I mean, Vissel were, were lucky <clears> to pull a goal back. Honestly, well, it wasn't game. a handball, anyway. it wasn't yeah. a penalty kick. But, um, Although the player did admit it touched his hand. They've still got a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're foreigners that they got in. While I think that they're paying too much for them, mm -hmm. they're, they're good. They're mm -hmm. good, solid foreigners. Marquinhos is a proven goal scorer, even though he's 38. And he's proving it yeah. with goals. Pedro Junior mm -hmm. uh, was a great player. He came to Gamba, scored a few goals, had a bit of a spat with the uh, manager, Nishino. Mm -hmm. He was subbed on. And then he was subbed off almost oh, wow. immediately because he was doing so badly. He threw his shirt down, swore at the crowd, swore at the manager, and he was on his, on his bike. And he's so, only just come back. But he is a very good player, and I think he's uh, Vissel's top scorer right now. So you mentioned the spat. Do you, do you think, is, do you suspect there could be um, some spats going on behind the scenes at Vissel? Why, why has it gone so spectacularly wrong? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't think it has. Mm. The results make it look as if it mm. has. But as I said, I've seen them playing and they're doing okay. I mean, mm. they could have beaten Reds. It could be all completely yeah. different. They, they should have beaten Reds and they should have beaten Sagantosu. Um, but they certainly had their tails between their legs against Gamba. <laughs> Gamba they were never destroyed. seen. But, and a local derby to lose by that many goals and it could have been more. That's but, but Gamba are the form team who are going to yeah, win the championship, aren't they? Yeah, that is very it? true. We've said this Isn't it going to be quite amazing now? when Gamba come top and Vissel are in the top three and mm. maybe San Francisco come back mm. and the Western Japan is just taking over everything? Yeah, I really want to what check their odds now. Yeah. Well, you're, talking <laughs> you're not thinking about betting, are you? No, no. Last time I did that, I lost. So I think... Uh, and I yeah. don't like doing that, as with you know. a bit of <laughs> With a bit of luck and um, continuation and uh, form, that, that Vissel won't have any problem. I'm not sure that they will finish top three, but they really want to. So, in our final part, we will take a look at the final game. The final game. And we'll look ahead to the next game to see where all these teams are going to be. So, end of part. Four. Preview time coming.